Well, there's the famous Sunset Grill. And the famous Hollywood Guitar Center. Rockers and metalheads and Crap, I was just headed out there this morning. Frank, good morning, and we're now hearing that this might be turning into a homicide investigation. We don't know the condition. That's right there at the foot, at the entrance, well, just below the entrance of Universal Studios. I gotta find another way out there. He's getting out of hand. Excuse me, I have to shirt off. This, along with uh, someone breaking into Karen Bass's home, I think it was suspected to be a homeless person, an individual, or something. I don't know. And with the rash of attacks from the homeless, especially in uh, the San Fernando Valley, yeah, this doesn't look good. Uh, now. Definitely a lot of eyes on different cities across the country are going to be looking to this. Is it Oregon again? Uh, ruling on whether or not to ban homeless people from the streets and stuff like that as far as sleeping and whatever the details are. So I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I was kind of surprised that that this that the homeless was being done first, but the next thing now, I wouldn't be surprised. These liberals are pretty pretty planning, it seems like, on what they're doing. The next to make look bad is oh, and of course they it has been looking is the black community with all these thefts and everything. Watch, watch. It's just a matter of time or something, God forbid, seriously happen. Like these ladies and this this woman being stabbed in the throat. This is an unprecedented decade, definitely. This be mindful where you vote.
<laughs> it's not even going past uh, Hollywood and Highland. My intention was actually to go to the Galleria this morning, and lo and behold, life in California. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Monday morning, April 27th, 22nd, excuse me, 2024. <laughs> about 56, 57. Actual intent was uh, today being Earth Day. Uh, it's public transportation is usually free. Uh, not every municipality, but some of the local ones here and the ones that we use the most is Metro and the Arts Bus, of course, and the train. And woke up this morning to hear that news and Universal Station is closed on this. <clears throat> That's gonna suck if uh, any other disruptions happen. You know, and I didn't think that, take that into consideration. So, get upstairs and try, try to find another way just also in case this happens but if push comes to shove um, definitely gonna have to save my money up and re-download my uber app or lyft app and if something happens like that I'm gonna be forced to take that so just another added cost right to commuting for another second job so this is kind of like what was I was being apprehensive of the cost of travel and everything so that we have to do this to survive here in LA hey like the movie to live and die in LA los boletos los tiquetes like 60 degrees actually and all, all of all this oh it's supposed to burn off it's supposed to be very very warm today it's kind of warm right now it's not actually not too cold as it may look a little a little bit of humidity but so I just checked the uh, Google Maps <clears throat> To get from here, I have to take two more buses all the way out to Los Angeles, like that area, and then catch another one going north. An hour and 22 minutes. This is not going to the Universal, this is going to Sherman Oaks. I was gonna to go to Sherman Oaks Galleria because it's Earth Day, so I might as well take advantage of it. Because I only have like $5 left on my tap card, and that's gotta hold me out until tomorrow. So. Trying to think of some other place to go to be able to take advantage of free rides. It's already like 10.30 in the morning. Let's see. Oh, nasty. It's all cleared out. How did it get so dirty over here? We're now on Sunset. Fairfax is just behind us. That used to be a really popular car wash back in the day. 
uh, early 70s actually that wall right there was more metallic looking it had kind of like a spacey look to it I don't know if it's still working I think it is but and up ahead is the laugh factory it is really socked in this morning Green Blots is no more. It hasn't been for quite a while. Oh, this strip, the sunset. Throughout the late 60s, definitely the 70s. For me, the 80s, this was the street to be on god so many billboards so many movies so many action so many clubs and so many drugs <laughs> cocaine and alcohol all over on these hills and the former former playboy building over there Jeez. I thought Pasadena was bad. Dang, look at this. That is a... Looks like they've trimmed up some over here to take the weight off. That is huge. I don't smoke, thank you. This guy asking me if I wanted to buy a pack of cigarettes. No. Can't smoke tobacco. Oh, this place is really so different now. Landmark Theaters. That's like the one over in uh, Pasadena. And up in these hills, there's a shortcut to go to Studio City. So this is Sunset and Miller. Miller going up that away uh, into the Hollywood Hills and this is the start of Los Cienega Boulevard that goes all the way into uh, like Inglewood and parts of Los Angeles and stuff like that. The streets up here behind me in the Hollywood Hills is kind of cool. Uh, I could kind of say that it's a little bit like Lombard Street in Frisco. There's a lot of whiny areas and stuff like that. Mount Olympus um, it's just really cool it was a when I was younger it was a great time to come up over here there was word like when you're out here on the strip uh, some of the uh, clubs and stuff like hey there's you know a party going up at the hills at so and so you know and just tell them this and sometimes there would be like a code word in order to get in sometimes if it was just a word of mouth that you heard on the strip not on Hollywood uh, then you take your chance and come up over here and see if you can get in most of the time and a lot of the times uh, they'd say yeah nope can't get in you can't get in some of the times um, yeah yeah it definitely was <laughs> and I hate to say it but it also helped if, if you had like a really cute chick in your group they're building something over here but uh, let me show you so this is Sunset Boulevard La Cienega starting to go down, very steep hill. And then coming up this way is Miller. Let me show you. Oi wee! Ooh! And then it comes up and it curves around. Now, a lot of these streets just dead end. So you would definitely would have broke, broken out your map. Your Thomas Guide. Oh, the Thomas Guide was the best, best map to have. Especially when uh, nowadays it doesn't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there's the book that I just read. Well, I didn't read it, I heard it. Yeah, with Tom Hardy. That was a really good um, narrated book. 
I recommend it. It's not a paid endorsement, but I, I recommend it. Someone's got a cute little gazebo up there. Oh my goodness, what a... Sheesh. Actually, I think this is the one that we came up when uh, we were last here. Last year. You can see Los Angeles is really sucked in over there. Pink Dot was something that started, I think, like... 10? God, it almost seems like it was a long time ago. It was one of the earliest uh, concepts of delivery until like the whole scene of Uber and, and what have you started to come into play. That place is closed, but that place opened up. That was too big of a dispensary. How would you like to live up there? Looking down on your Peasants. Damn, dude. Fucking A. This is the Hotel West Hollywood right here. Another hotel right here. Never seen this. Hotel Ziggy. Free the music. Hotel Ziggy. Is that like a weed hotel? This is an old one. Whoa. Mondrian? Madera. What the hell? This is the Piazza del Sol. Man, I'm so glad I don't have hills like that around in Pasadena. Jeez. There is the original comedy star. It's so weird, man. It's... I've more I've heard more Russian speak and The Riot House? Oh, bar and restaurant. What is that? And does Hotel God, there's a lot of Fancy, fancy, yeah, see? I remember where that was still running. A lot of old newsstands here in Los Angeles that are no more. Another famous hotel. Let's get across the street and there's the Saddle Ranch. Go through a lot of brake pads and what not here. Sunset Plaza Hotel. This was a really fun place to go. Good food. Libations of plant. Go in, get your ass branded on the way out. <laughs> Hey, valet's not bad, 10 bucks. Not very exclusive, is it? I will put the information down in this place. Kind of reminds me of the old, um, uh, kind of, up in Universal Studios, up there where you see where the globe is and everything. No cussing, no fighting, no hollering, no spitting. Saloon rules. We used to have a country western kind of club restaurant and that place was a lot of fun I remember being up there I only got brave enough to do once the line dance but there the whole thing was line dancing up there and it was just a lot of fucking fun I really miss that I miss that as much as I miss the old amphitheater that they had but still hoping they buy more property Carney's, an icon on the strip. Yeah, that looks dated, doesn't it? Ooh, 
I see something old. These are fun streets. Uh, you should have seen when I used to take my uh, 73 Gran Torino up here. Now, it was very much kind of like the Starsky and Hutch car because I did have the fat race. I had, did have the fat slicks on the back and the smaller slicks in the front. And let me tell you, back in the 80s when I lost a tire and I needed a tire, that was definitely still just almost a hundred bucks for a tire, especially the rear tires. They were, but anyway, I could usually get up to 35, 40 in some of these areas and take a small jump. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I had, I used to call them my roller coasters. They, I used to have one uh, more closer uh, to us in El Segundo and that was like right by the Marina Del Rey. And that was Charlie's first roller coaster. <laughs> I think someone added that part. Look at those homes up there. Pink Taco! This was, or is, I'm not sure if it's still in operation. This is the, again, was... The famous body shop. This was featured in Motley Crue's famous song, Girls, Girls, Girls. Body shop, or shot, body shots at the Marble Arch and at the body shop. The other one was the Seven Veils, and that is down that way on the other side on uh, Sunset. That was another crazy place. I've never been to the body shop. Seven Veils. Yeah. Boulevard has always been uh, a great place for a lot of billboards. Most of the time it was just filled with uh, Calvin Klein and Gene, uh, Gene commercials. A lot of apparel and a lot of movies. So this was a place to advertise for all your movies and whatever TV shows. It still is, really. I don't really think that people pay that much attention. But in the time when I was younger, it was like really cool. It's like, oh, dude, check that out. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, I can't wait for that. This is the Chateau Marmont. Nope, never stayed there or been there. There's Pinches Daco. I <laughs> love that. Pinches Daco. And we'll be going back into this way where we started. And Netflix has got like a lot of stuff on air, don't they? There is a Frank Lloyd Wright uh, house right up over here. Crescent Heights, we're back over here where the big tree is. Crescent Heights uh, going north that way. Like I said, that'll take you up in the Studio City. This turns into Laurel Canyon Boulevard eventually. It's kind of a drive. Don't be so uh, weird. Take your time and kind of keep the pace with the, the traffic, I guess. I mean, I haven't driven up this way in, in decades, literally. But um, it's a nice drive, actually. And it's a shortcut for when you can't get through, like, Barham. If there's an accident in Barham and you live in Studio City, this is a shortcut. And then sometimes this place gets occupied with the... Uh, road work, construction and stuff like that. So you have to go take bar on this stuff. Like I said, it was all just like a bad nightmare at that home up there. Look at that. That is huge. King of the world, Ma. From Pinches Tacos to Quieres Tacos Way? There you go, there's a better view. I know it's kind of glary, but there's another home right over there. See it? So 
unless I'm mistaken, this used to be the old preview house. Preview house was the place where you would once go and preview movies that were coming out. There were, I think, maybe two or three of such facilities, but the preview house was the most popular one. And then that's that's what started like the whole uh, compensate. Hey, you know, we'll give you, we'll compensate you this way and that way. And, you know, after you've seen the movie and stuff, and then you would get your little card. I remember it was like a little bit bigger than an index card. And uh, you would fill out whatever the questions were. And then you would turn it in. And hey, you know, you had a free movie. And uh, no, it was really cool. The... Just right over there is the Editor's Guild Union. So we're still on Sunset. I just actually got off the bus. I only went two bus, two blocks until I came over here. Music Head Gallery. Oh, I love that. That's a great mural. There is the famous Sunset Grill. Yep. After... Well, what okay. came? Well, there's the famous Sunset Grill. And the famous Hollywood Guitar Center. Rockers and metalheads and heads alike used to flock here. And the more, the more I've been thinking for the last couple of days, especially like two days ahead of our uh, our work schedule coming out, usually comes out on Wednesday. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, it had been coming out Tuesday, and it's like, oh man! <laughs> the first time it came out, that was like that was the smoker for everyone. It's like, holy shit, we are down to. Minuscule hours. Anyway, I I really hope actually now that Universal, this gig at Universal turns into a permanent position. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best to make sure since I'll have my foot just into the door, just into the door, and I'm gonna do my best. To make sure that I can, well, that I can stay there, because that would be a good place to kind of go up. Versus a movie theater, it's only so much limited, and the management there is just. I love my management, but the man, all management does is they spend so much time in the office just doing paperwork. It's all secretarial work. Management, like I said, has taken a whole new role. It's at least here, in most jobs, it, it it involves so much less of public relations. It's more office and secretarial and clerical work. That's why I'm not. I, I never really pushed to try to get in. You know, whenever they put the uh, the little bulletins, looking for like a lead or whatever at work. Everybody signs up, and I'm just like, yeah, no. It, I'm used to a different kind of management back in the day. Before they changed everything to, what was it, uh, key holder. A key holder. It was like, when that came out, I was like, what the fuck is key holder? Well, little did we know that it was just a name for secretarial work. But, and I think they still use that key holder terminology. But anyway, yeah. And if anyone's speculating, it's probably gonna, yeah, yeah. Again, I am, I'm not gonna leave right now. I'm gonna wait and see after doing all this and finding out exactly more or less 
how long this position is going to entail uh, for the seasonal. If there's a chance to do whatever, or if there's anything else that opens up, yeah, I'll, I'll most likely get in there. But I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do to get the heck out of here. I mean, honestly, right now, I'm still all geared up just leaving California. If I could, if I could afford it, I can't. I know because the mega bucks that I just bought for the other day, it didn't pay off. It was nothing. Kind of looks like Beverly Hills. Here it is, the seventh veil. Girls, girls, girls. Red lips. Finger dips. Yeah, this place was. Whew. <laughs> Someone else just smoked out. <laughs> There's a uh, Camaro. Look at this building. Kind of ugly, huh? Where's the other one? here on Google Maps is known as Elvis Presley Star. They took a lot of the plaques out. I would say stolen. Well that is Del Rio. This was uh, dedicated to the ladies of Hollywood I believe. This is also La Brea and Hollywood. This is the intersection where that Uber driver that you folks saw was assaulted. I'm not exactly where or what, but you guys saw his face. That dude got really fucked up. I feel sorry for him. God. That <laughs> reminded me of how my face kind of looked after I got worked over. That's just another thing to add to whatever's going on in uh, Oregon. They're going to use California as a, a for instance, in New York, Chicago, as far as how to direct and how to probably come to a decision in all of this insanity that's been allowed to happen. The rockers here. This is Live Nation right up here. And we're back. Holy cow, that's a heck of a walk. I'm tired. Time to get back to Dina. What about Freddie Fender? My mom absolutely adored him. Look, that was the real Harkonian in Dune. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on there. Eh. Trying to get to Sherman Oaks, couldn't. Took a little tour of uh, Sunset Boulevard. 
and some weirdness. Comments, good or bad, please post it if not email. Five bucks? Shit! Perfect time, and here's the bus. More cars? Oh shit. His attack while trying to drop off an unruly passenger. The driver, Peter McNulty, left with bruises and a bloody face. I picked the young man up. He was very adamant about the address that he was going to and how quickly he had to be there. The 70 year old Uber driver says he arrived at LeBron. This is where we were over here. We crossed. So he came to over here. I think the liquor store is over here on the left. This area over here is, uh, as you saw, is not really all the best. A lot of homeless. Well, we grappled, went down to the ground. The rider had McNulty on the ground as witnesses walked by but did nothing to help. We rolled around on the ground for at least four to five minutes. An entire group of 10 to 12 people showed up. They thought we were the entertainment. None of them would even call 911. Jesus lost Christ. A tooth. As he got back up, the suspect is seen walking away and witnesses dispersing. McNulty would later flat down an officer. He also reported the incident to Uber. An Uber spokesperson telling KTLA in a statement, What this driver experienced is very unsettling. As soon as this incident was reported to us, we removed the rider's access from the Uber platform. We are continuing to look into this and are standing ready to assist law enforcement with their investigation. McNulty's <sighs> biggest takeaway? It's getting crazy out there. Be prepared wherever you are at all times because you can't expect help. If something goes bad, you've got to handle that situation yourself. It's sad to say. Once again, it was it's true. Tomato. The LAPD says it is still looking for the suspect. The Uber driver says he is still planning to go back to work. Whether cities can ban people from sleeping outside. The case comes from the town of Grants Pass, Oregon. Officials there began fining people almost $300 for sleeping outside. An appeals court struck down the ordinance, ruling it amounts to cruel and unusual punishment. City officials say that ruling. Letting people live like this is cruel and unusual punishment. told the High Court yesterday, allowing cities to punish people who need a place to sleep would criminalize homelessness. The U.S. We've never had this like Ginger, thank you. We're learning new details about the break-in at L.A. Mayor Karen Bass's home. <laughs> the L.A. Times reports 29-year-old Ephraim Hunter smashed a back window to get inside and made it to the second floor before officers arrived. The family hid in a safe room and no one was injured. Hunter is being held on $100,000 bail. He has previously been charged with kidnapping. Must be nice, a safe room. Those charges were filed in Your average homeowner doesn't have that. Whether he intentionally targeted the mayor's home. The suspect yesterday morning at a metro subway station has been identified. Investigators believe he may have assaulted other people. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live now in Studio City with those details. Carlos, good morning. And good morning to Chris and Megan. The Universal City Beeline station back open this morning following the deadly incident. Yet another one uh, involving public transportation in the LA area. The unprovoked attack leaving an innocent woman in her 60s dead and many riders shaking. Shake it rather she was sixties that authorities do more to keep them safe. Take a look here. This here is forty five year old Elliot Nowden. He is believed to be a transient and now behind bars after he stabbed a woman in his throat 
using two small kitchen knives. Investigators say a woman in her 60s was leaving her job in the valley and heading home early Monday morning when Nowden brutally attacked her without a prior altercation while they were on the southbound train somewhere between the North Hollywood and Universal City stations. Police say the bleeding victim managed to get off the train as soon as it stopped. The next station, she was rushed to a hospital where she unfortunately died. Nowden left the scene, but a combination of surveillance cameras and witness descriptions about his clothing helped officers find and arrest him 30 minutes later. Wow, that was quick. Violent Avenue. Authorities are releasing this photo because they believe he sprayed on many others and helped those victims come forward. I think that we just now have to carry some sort of defense. You know, pepper spray, maybe. It's shocking. Is she? <laughs> they cut her off. She was going to talk about maybe implements. Many riders are understandably concerned. The fact that the suspect was arrested doesn't make them feel any safer, and they're demanding more security on the trains. Monday's deadly attack follows a nearly 8% jump in crimes against persons riding the Metro from January to February. The Metro says passenger crime has actually dropped by roughly 10% compared to a year ago. Crimes such as trespassing, narcotics, and weapons, they say, have seen a 40% drop. Metro has also deployed ambassadors to help keep passengers and passengers and trains. Safe. Those are the people in uh, green, yellow that you see. No, not them. In the area. And not uh, them. Today and uh, tomorrow, the suspect in the meantime again. Uh, this colored. Uh, with murder and is being held with on a two million dollars bail. You believe that you were one of his victims? You're urged to contact the LAPD immediately. Chris and Nathan will send it back to you. All right.